this is an engine that was given to me today or I received today in the mail uh, from a friend of mine. It's pretty much a basket case. It's an OSSF 46. It's in really bad shape, super dirty on the outside. So I've cleaned up the exterior. I've disassembled it. I didn't pull the crankshaft or the bearings. They felt pretty good. I cleaned up everything. I don't have any spare parts for it. So I wanted to just kind of put it back together and see if the ring has any kind of compression at all and if it'll run. There's obviously some other issues with this uh, engine I haven't told you about, but uh, I'm going to put it on here and see if I can at least get it to run and see what happens. adjust the idle a little bit and see if we can't get it to idle a little bit better. engine is there's a spring in there and because this one of the things I didn't mention was this throttle stop holder is broken so only half the script uh, through script through threads are in there to hold this screw in place and that's what's allowing this thing to move in and out like that so without having this a replacement here I don't think we're ever going to really get this thing to idle down because as soon as I go to try and adjust it it there's just too much play in this throttle and you can see that thing moving, but the thing does run anyway. It runs pretty darn good at high end anyway.
demonstrates I got this thing pretty well tuned in here. Uh, it's a decent running motor. I mean, I didn't think it'd run as good as it did, being as nasty as it was, but it looked like I got the idle down pretty good. It doesn't feel, it's a ringed engine. It doesn't feel like it's got a ton of compression, but you saw the, you saw what it was turning. The 10.7 APC and it was turning it. Well, this one, this run peaked at 12,840 RPM, so that's pretty smoking and it seemed to have a pretty decent idle once I got it down adjusted eh, might be a decent little engine I wouldn't put on a new airplane but I definitely ring out an old one with it <laughs> 